That's right, Emily. Finding a job without a permanent address can be difficult, which is why it's hard for the homeless to find consistent pay and also find somewhere to a way to get back into society. Well, after meeting today, city leaders here in Tupelo are trying to change that. The opportunity to go from the streets to permanent housing. Mayor Jason Shelton and other city officials gathered today to discuss new and current initiatives coming to the city, including new efforts to keep Tupelo beautiful. People don't litter, you know, good people don't litter. Uh, you got a few bad apples here and there that, that are the entire litter problem. By partnering with Tupelo Municipal Court and Tupelo Homeless Task Force, the city is offering those in need the opportunity to pick up litter for pay. Even though it's a litter program, it's skill building. They're going to have a supervisor, they're going to have to keep up with their hours, they're going to have like a schedule to keep. In addition, those who participate will also be given the opportunity to work off court fines. It's just a win-win. And if this idea becomes a reality in the city of Tupelo, one man's trash can become another man's treasure. It's a little bit uh, up in the air right now of the exact amount per hour. Uh, the recommendation was nine. But this opportunity does does not just apply to the homeless. Hannah Meharry with the Homeless Task Force said those interested can contact the city to participate. However, they are also personally going out to find those who need help. We actually go into the street, like wherever someone is staying, whether it be at the shelter, where it be in an encampment, like in a tent or under a bridge, we're physically going to go to that individual and create that relationship. The program is expected to last about six months once it gets started. Now, right now, an official date to when that initiative will start has not been released yet. But if you are interested, you are asked to call City Hall for more information. For now, reporting live in Tupelo, Aaron Wilson, WTVA News.